Hey y'all, welcome back to Everyday Mama. I'm Leanne. Today is the long-awaited tour of our 2016 Thor Outlaw 29H. At 30 feet, 9 inches long, and 4 years young, this rig has been a blessing and a home on wheels for weekend and summer adventures for my family. We've affectionately named her Cloud Nine because that's exactly how we feel when we travel in this RV. I can't wait to take you inside and show you exactly why we love it so much. Let's get started. Here's the screen door. Steps up. We like to keep our shoes right here. Keeps the dirt from coming in. The dog bed fits nicely there. And we found an ottoman that has storage underneath or inside. And it matches the couch, so we bought that. Extra seating. Here's the cab. Directly above the cab is the loft bed. I'll show you what it's like with the ladder in just a moment. It's very spacious up here. has a nice window. It's a queen size bed. has a four inch memory foam in it. has a TV that swivels out for us to watch from the living room as well. So much storage back in that corner that my son has a toy bin back there. We have extra sleeping bags back there and an extra blanket. We have a vent here and then those circles allow the air conditioner to come out through there and you can decide how much you want. There's also a light up there. There's a curtain here as well. If you want privacy, goes the full length of the bed. It's really nice when you put the child to bed earlier. He won't be bothered. There's our sweet June bug, loving her sweet bed. She's got her food and water. This is where we put the ladder during the day, and then we move it over to the middle where the hooks are. They're right here, if you can see them. Here's what it looks like with the ladder in place to take you up to the loft bed. Alright, moving on to the living room. We've got our nice, this is our happy place mat. We call this RV Cloud 9. That's why you're going to see some cloud decals around here. This is our wonderful leather couch. I love that it's dark. Keeps away the signs of dirt. Beautiful view out the back. We're in a forest right now. This is why you get RVs, right? Beautiful views. This couch is on a slide and it makes out into a full bed. If you take just the back cushions off, it is a twin bed. It's from the couch is the refrigerator. It runs on electricity or gas. I'll show you the inside of the fridge next. I love that it has a light. Some RVs do not. We have a little bit of our leftovers here. It's got the drawer down here. We like to keep little baskets in there so things don't roll around. It has a nice sized freezer. Very happy with this fridge. 
we put some decals on because we call this RV Cloud 9. Right beside the fridge is an awesome pantry. It's four shelves and it goes way back. Probably hard to see. We just have a little bit of stuff in here right now, but what a great use of space. And it does not fly open when you're driving. Up above the fridge and freezer is another storage area. You can never have too much storage in an RV. Speaking of storage, we have a little bit here. This is where the DVD player is housed. It also has USB charging ports, which is really nice because you can stick your phone up here or whatever, your cameras or whatever, and have them be charging and then the cord can come through that hole and it kind of just gets it off the floor out of the way off the tables so this is the front half of our RV let's move in to the kitchen the kitchen is probably my second favorite area of this RV it's on a slide even when the slide is in, there is ample amount of space. If you're boondocking and don't want to use the slide, that's fine because the slide is the kitchen and the couch. But it's nice when you're, whenever you've parked to go ahead and pull that out. So let's start with some storage. I love that there's a little shelf here for all of the soaps and stuff so you don't have to keep them in the sink. We've got these nice pull-out drawers so we use our cutlery our dry erase marker for the fridge and then all of our utensils for the stove. Under the sink we have an extra water filter and it's just extra storage. Getting to the sink it has two bins or two bowls here which is really nice have a cutting board over this one side which you can use for dinners and stuff like this we bought this roll up drying rack it is so wonderful you can keep stuff on it and it won't move around while you're driving but just being able to throw your dirty bowl dirty dish after you've washed it here and letting it dry while it drips down is a great use of space we bought one of these faucet extenders here for about eight dollars so that I can spray out the sink. Let me show you how it works. That's our water pump in motion. Very nice to have. And then behind us you'll see we have a travel Berkey. This is for when we're boondocking and we need to use creek water or we run out of our own water that we bring. And it's just nice if you're a little bit sketchy about some of the campground waters, even if you have a water filter this is just such a better solution so it sits right there it doesn't move around because of the rubber on it we move it into the sink when we drive sometimes depending on where we're going I have a cute little sign here my friend gave me thanks Heather awesome views paper towel roll getting it up out of the way essential tower of power over here we use it for our coffee we also have a coffee maker that does not require electricity called the myjo i have a video about that i'll link it below then you've got the stove here it has a wonderful cover on it three burners it's the quick start which is great. I don't have to use a match. I can just spark it and light it there. And then that keeps it from splashing back up there. We've got the light over the hood. We've also, it's got a vent for when you're cooking. We also have the vent above, which helps. And then we have a convection oven microwave what a lovely thing so inside here comes with one of those oven racks so you can make biscuits or cookies 
any of that that you would like, but also microwaves. Wonderful to have. Below, since there's no oven, because there's a convection oven, there's just humongous amounts of storage. All our pots and pans, and these drawers are very deep. And I prefer drawers for dishes and stuff like that because they rattle less. Above the sink is our coffee cups, coffee, just extra stuff. We have some of these spice holders for when we go on long trips. Nicely laid out, very efficient, organized, and simple, but it's everything you need. You're lacking nothing for sure. And it's so nice to be able to sit here and work and cut, look out, and then also be part of the action in the living room and be able to see the TV if something's going on. You just don't feel like you're missing out on what everybody else is doing. Over here on this wall is the electrical part. This tells about your leveling. This is the remote to help with the slides and the leveling and the awning. This tells you um, what your battery power is, your fresh tank, battery power, fresh tank, things like that. Then you move down here. This is your temperature control for air conditioning and the heater. The heater comes out here. We've used it a couple of times. Wonderful. Gets it all nice, toasty, and warm in here. So moving on, after the kitchen, you'll see toward the back here. Let's go into the bathroom here. It has a door stopper on it in case you're in a place that's not level. I'm going to go ahead and open it all the way up. It does open when the slide's in, so that's good. We hang our towels on this built-in towel rack. Super handy. It's got a vent at the top. Push flush toilet works wonderfully. Ours came with a makeup mirror. Sink. Has some storage stuff underneath. We keep our shower stuff here instead of in the shower. And then just some basics. Also has storage under here. We keep our toilet bowl cleaner. Cleaner. If you look in there, we've got the two mirrors. Room for our toiletries and we each have our own little Dollar Tree container. It's very helpful to just pull that down. Take care of what you need. We've got this wonderful mildew resistant nautical shower door. I love these. You do not have to clean them. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Wonderful shower. It's big. My husband is 6'3". He feels wonderful in here. He doesn't have to duck his head. The skylight makes up for that issue for him. We have the great spray holder here, the shower nozzle that it lets you move it, and very nice shower. Hot water's great. After you leave the restroom, see we have a bag here. Sometimes we hang a trash bag here. Right now we have our grocery bag here. This is the back door. It's an ultra seal. You cannot smell, hear, anything going on outside because of the extra seal on this door, and you'll see why in a minute. There is a closet here and two drawers, and the drawers are significant. The space in there is significant. Lots of room. Keep extra socks, ponchos inside. Extra heater if you want it, blankets, place to hang clothes for long trips. And the same on the other side. You have three drawers on this one. And just a place to store all the stuff that you're not sure what to store. 
Here on the side, we have what used to be a picture. We took some white board stick on stuff and put it here. And we write down places we'd like to go and check them off when we go there. It's a great way to get the kids involved and just set your goals and your travels in order. This reveals itself when the slide is out. Now we're coming to the best part of this whole rig. The reason we bought it, the reason we love it, and that is the garage. We affectionately call it our screen and porch. You can use it to haul stuff, but we use it as the screen and porch. Guys, look at this. It's a whole nother RV. I mean, when you are in the front and you're ready to get away, have a moment to yourself, or you just wanna be outdoors but not out in the elements such as getting bug bites and rained on, this is where you can be. It has a separate air conditioner, which is amazing. So if you're running your rig on solar power or a solar generator like we are through our Titan right there, then you can run that air conditioner. It is so cool. So you can sleep back here and have air at night when you're boondocking. So we keep extra water back here, our fishing supplies. We have these two couches. Now they fold up against the wall completely so that you could bring in an ATV, a golf cart, motorcycles. They even have the tie downs here for your vehicles. But we don't use it for that. Sometimes we bring our bikes, but we love to just sit here. We will put a TV tray in the middle and play card games. If you see, this one has cup holders that pull out. I showed you on this one. They're on both sides. You just pull them out from the middle there. It has cabinetry above, which we store all of our grill supplies. And then on this side, we store our inflatable kayak and things like that. Awesome storage back here. For all that stuff that you just don't want in your way when you're trying to cook and eat and all of that stuff. This air conditioner works wonderfully. Over here, they call this a tool chest or something like that. So you can pull it down and we just keep tools in here for cutting, chopping wood and whatever. But I think, would this not make an awesome bar? You could have cocktails, mixed drinks here, cup of ice, and sit around and enjoy the screen and porch. So that is something you could do. Here we store our Titan. We will be doing a video on this later. Please comment below if that's something you're interested in. This is a solar generator from Point Zero Energy and it is amazing. The thing on this that makes it so incredible, we are boondocking right now in the forest. We have our RV plugged in. We are literally plugged in as if we were in an outlet at a campground. Isn't that awesome? We can run everything in here just as if we were at a campground. It is phenomenal. Great for home, for your provisions, great on the road. Can't wait to tell you more about that. That's really my husband's forte is knowing all this stuff. So hopefully I can get him to help me create a video on that for you. Over on this side, there's a TV back here. If you weren't spoiled enough, you can sit back here and use the remote, listen to a stereo, watch the game. What an awesome way to sit on this couch. Watch that TV. Look at this phenomenal view right outside. Be comfy. There's plenty of storage underneath. We have our rocking chair connectors for our lawn chairs. Under here, we have other things stored, another kayak, the grill, vacuum.
can't get much better than this. Here's the screen. This is the reason that there's no bugs. You can hear the bugs out there, but they're not bugging me. It's a magnetic closure. Very easy to close and open. And it even has side connectors to the fence back there. So if you have a little dog, he or she won't fall off. We love that. And once I open this, there is the deck. And the deck is phenomenal. We have TV tray out here, our camping chairs that can be made into rocking chairs. There's a bee that wants me to stay inside. <laughs> exactly why this screen is so wonderful. You can watch nature, be a part of nature, but not be annoyed by the bugs. So we sit out there for long periods of time. We grill out there. And at night, if you're in a safe place, you can make these two couches into a king bed. These two just flatten down and they connect and there's a little piece that goes in the middle and it makes a king size bed y'all and it is comfy i mean this is like memory foam leather here we put a little mattress topper on and our comforter and we can all sleep out here and hear nature and if it's raining it's just the best but if you're in an area that you feel like you need to close up you could either lock your door that separates you from the main part of the rig to the screen and porch or you can easily close down that um, porch and put up the back door also um, you can take this duck this deck excuse me and push it all the way down and it makes like a ramp and that's why you can bring your bikes ATVs things like that up on it well, that's it for my tour of our Outlaw 2016 made by Thor 29H. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put your comments down below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you get out and RV. Until next time, wishing you and your family lots of simplicity, progress, and joy. Adventures await!